sevgili çocuklar merhaba ben Gül bugün sizlerle deneyler kitabımızın 30. sayfasındaki sesi görelim deneyim yapacağız nasıl göreceğiz bakalım o zaman ne yapıyoruz önce kitaplarımızı açıyoruz malzemelerimizi hazırlıyoruz ve deneyimize başlıyoruz çocuklar ses havadaki titreşimlerle oluşurdu değil mi? Bu titreşimler kulak zarımıza kadar ulaşır ve kulak zarımızı titreştirdiğinde sesi işitiriz fakat göremeyiz. Şimdi sizlerle sesi göreceğimiz bir deney yapacağız. Hadi başlayalım. Malzemelerimiz tuz, siyah balon, balonu geçirebileceğimiz bir kap ve hoparlör. Şimdi balonu bu kapın ağız kısmına gergin şekilde geçirelim. Bunu yine yetişkinden yardım alarak yapmalıyız. Gergin yüzeye tuzları serpelim. Şimdi sesi görme zamanı. Bir müzik açalım. Havadaki titreşimlerle hareket eden tuz tanelerini izleyelim. Sanki dans ediyorlar değil mi? Şimdi farklı bir müzik açalım. Tuz tanelerini izleyelim. Bakın tuz taneleri havadaki titreşimlerle yani sesle hareket ediyorlar. İşte sesi görmüş olduk çocuklar. Hadi çocuklar. Deney yapma sırası sizde. Deneyimizi bitirdikten sonra kitabınızdaki etkinlikleri yapmayı unutmayın. Bir sonraki deneyde görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın. Here I have three compositions for 4K, 2K and Full HD. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the animation size according to these solutions. So for 4K you don't have to do anything, you just have to click and drag because the animations are already made in 4K as you can see the resolution. For 2K you just have to click and drag and press S button on your keyboard and then set this percentage to 67 now you can see it is fit with your 2k comp for full HD you just have to click and drag your animation and then press S button on your keyboard and set this percentage to 50% in the next video I will show you how to uh, adjust the position and scale of these animations to change the position and scale of your animations you can just uh, double click this animation comp and click this control layer and go to window effects control here you can see uh, controllers for scale and position so using these controllers you can adjust the position and scale of your animation so if you want to uh, adjust it on top of your project, you can go to uh, this control layer and click this lock button. And now once you go to this example comp, you can see uh, the controller size still here. So you can uh, change these values and uh, change the position and scale of these animations. In the next video, I will show you how to change colors using these controllers and how to change text to change the colors of each animations you just have to double click this comp and go to this control layer and here uh, you can use uh, the like group to change the colors of this like button like this and uh, this text color means uh, the color of the text of this like icon 
and once you go to this subscribe section you can control the subscribe colors using these controllers like this and this is the text color uh, the process is same for the get notified or the bell icon you just have to use these controllers to change the colors of these icons and this text just like this now when you go to your project you can see the colors are updated here to update text uh, again you have to go to this uh, animation comps and here you can see the like subscribe and get notified text layers so you just have to click and uh, take the text tool and edit this text like this the process is same for these two you just have to take the text tool and you can edit this text as you want now you can see the text are updated with the colors in the next tutorial, I show you how to render the project. Once you completed customizing these animations, you can render the project. If you are using Adobe CC 2014, you can go to render queue and click this lossless button and change it to quick time. And here you can select uh, the H264 video coding. But uh, if you are using a new version like me, uh, you can see the 264 format is not here so if you are using a new version you can uh, what you can do is click the composition you want to render and go to composition and click add to adobe media encoder render queue it will take some time to load this here you can see 264 codec is available then click this match source hybrid rate button to set the bit rate. Uh, scroll down here and set this to VBR2 pass and put these bit rate values around uh, 5 to 7, something like that. Then click OK. Click this area to set a location. Here you can set any name to your video and then click save and then hit this green button to start rendering. 